Here's my Nintendo 64 turned up upside down. Now the reason it's taken apart right now and uh, upside down is because uh, the thing won't power on. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with it. I guess it's got some short going on in it. But I hope not. Or I hope it's something that's just dirt. I tried cleaning it up and uh, I'm not sure why the hell this thing will turn on but this is how I have it set up right now. and. I don't have a multimeter right now to test this thing out, so one way I've been testing this is with the LED here. Now, if you look over here, the 6 and the 3 are, are supposed to be positive, and 6 is supposed to be positive, and the 3 is supposed to be negative. So Now this thing, mind you, the switch isn't turned on. The switch is underneath on the other side, because this thing is upside down, but I'm going to put the positive to the negative right now. And there's there's still po power going to the actual board. It's just not turning. It's not initiating. Um, but you can see here. See that light up? LED is lighting up right now. Let's see if I can hold it. So there's power going there. See, you know, there's there's actual power going there, so it's not there. So let me go down to, to the other pins. There's six pins over here, as you can see. So let me go down the line now. And I haven't tried the other ones, but there's got to be a short coming coming in from somewhere, and I'm not sure what the hell is going on with this. But I tried a different power adapter of my friends yesterday at his house on the on this Nintendo 64 when it was all assembled, of course. Um, but like uh, that, that didn't make any difference. And uh, I see this other YouTube video of this guy with like absolutely no heat sh shields and no actual heat sinks into the actual board. And he was running the, he was running a couple games off of it. Like it was, it was like nothing, like no sweat or anything off of his forehead. But, okay, let me try the other pins now. And uh, I, so it, it can't be the heat sinks that are loose or anything like that, or the shielding like that doesn't affect this damn system actually turning on. And be, this this all started actually when I decided to take this apart and uh, clean it out. And I don't know what the hell I did, but I must have screwed something up even worse than it was already, because it was turning. The system was turning on, but it was still be a bitch to turn on like it, it would turn on after a couple of attempts and s some some attempts wouldn't even work out and the, the only game was actually working on it was Madden I have it over here fucking Madden 2002 and uh with with that being the only game working after I cleaned up a couple other cartridges I, I guess this game for some reason doesn't need that much power but it was working. The, the LED over here was turning on, and after after I disassembled this thing, I cleaned it out. The LED doesn't even turn on, and it, it doesn't it doesn't turn on. Period. The system, like it doesn't. Uh, like I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I I must have done something worse to it. I don't know. Okay, we're not getting any power from that one. Okay, so there's no current actually going to here. So, let me just adjust that. Yeah, so we're definitely, I'm only definitely getting power here. So, I don't know what the heck these these bottom two pins do this bottom two or these bottom four pins I should say but I don't know what the hell they do but there's no power coming off of there and uh, that's that's of course a three volt circuit line uh, as the diagram says over here that's a three volt and that's a 12 volt but the 12 volt if I try to stick something over here in these pins I'm not even sure what the hell these pins do but this thing should just pop, not work. But I got other LEDs and oh, there's power going there. Okay.
Okay, so. Well, that one's turning on, period. Okay, so this one's flickering. This thing's being really fickle right now too, which could explain something. I could explain something because okay, there's power there. Careful with this because I don't know what the hell I'm doing with some of these circuits. I don't think I'll do any damage though. I'll do damage to the LED, but I'm not sure what's the positive and negative between these pins here, but definitely get power in there. Get power in there. This is now this. These are the pins that directly get voltage from the adapter, so this this one's flickering, so that means something's going on with this. I'm not sure if it's dirty or, or what's going on with it. The power's flickering. What the hell's going on with this thing? Now these pins over here from looking at this diagram those are the video pins, of course, because this is the video adapter, which makes it obvious. But anyway, or that's a video input or output, I should say. Um, yeah, this is, this is a piece of crap, and uh, I don't know if this N64 motherboard for the Nintendo 64 is just fried. In. This, this is my Nintendo 64 from when I was a kid, so that's why it'd be nice to have this thing working, but. Cause I, I was trying out, so I was trying to get some games working on it the other day when I picked up a few games for cheap. Now, if this component's just messed up itself, uh, it'd be a pain in the ass because I don't think you could actually remove this. I mean, maybe you could desolder it or desolder it. I mean take this component out and replace it, but I'm not sure where the hell you'd even find that bad part for this motherboard to begin with. So the thing, the thing could just be useless now and uh, defective and I might have to get a new 64. Oh well.